Hello dear Vimerian, welcome back on the second presentation of the second week of PBL Problem Based Learning Today we gonna discuss mainly how to rec recognize the PBL cycle It has a cycle in different phases And how to outline the rule of participants in PBL tutorial, tutor and students Quick recap BBL is a focused experimental learning method that uses the problem as a trigger to stimulate the students or the learners to, uh, to learn the, uh, the skill of acquiring knowledge. It's mainly focusing on the teamwork and it is a student-directed learning. They perform uh, 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 student-directed learning or self-directed learning. The tutor will be only guide as we're gonna elaborate next. In BBL session, we use a problem scenario, a real life problem scenario as a trigger to help the student to learn how to solve other problems. We give them the a situation that helps them to, uh, to explore and find possible scenarios. The BBL session is a self-directed learning, identifying the knowledge deficiencies they are need to know and relative to the problem we give them. Again, the target is not to solve the problem. The target is to give the students the skill how to solve future problems. Also, the students will apply the knowledge in a different uh, solutions for this case and they will evaluate the, pro uh, the solution they have, uh, they have put as a, uh, as a solution for uh, this scenario specifically. But what about the tutor? The tutor will not be a spoon feeder. No, he will be a facilitator. Managing the session, managing the learning goals, managing the strategy to solve the PBL, focusing on what are the targets of this one or two weeks that we need them to uh, cover in uh, this session. He acquire, he helps them to acquire the skill needed, not for only again solving this problem, for a lifelong skill of solving this problem. Again, this is, will be the setting of BBL session. The students are collected in a, a, a conference like many conference. Uh, as you may recall from the first presentation, a small number of students can be, up, can be conducted on a large number of students. They have to all participate. So this small number of students is, uh, are meeting in a, a conference like uh, sitting. Uh, they have a whiteboard, they have a shared document, they have a, a concept map, uh, a shared document according to uh, if it is it virtual or a real life. Uh, then we have a scribe, the scribe will lead the conversation. Uh, then they will, ask, they will present the problem, uh, basically, and then they will start the cycle that will, will illustrate. The tutor is sitting on the side not on the whiteboard as we used to. He is facilitator. He is directing the discussion, not giving them solution, not giving them a suggestion for solving the problem. No, but focusing on helping them, they can solve the problem by themselves. This is uh, some diagram to uh, illustrate the phases of uh, a, a cycle of BBM, but we will move to this diagram. Mainly those stages uh, uh, are defined as the phases of the problem-based learning session. Begin to, with the problem, brainstorm, assign each other responsibility, teach us, uh, each other, then integrate this knowledge and critically emphasize on this knowledge. First of all, the student learning begins with a problem to solve, rather than the facts they master. When starting with stating the fact, we start with reading the problem. This enhances student motivation and makes him more curious what is the solution for this problem. Then the student will gather information and consult resources and collect resources and do brainstorming to fill the gaps, to fill the holes in, in their knowledge. 
The next step, the student will and their peers, they will assign tasks to each other. They will have a teamwork. Each part of them will uh, take a task to in order to acquire the knowledge that will give us the solutions that we are seeking for. Then, the student will define new areas of acquired learning. They will dig deeper for the problem. They will learn effectively how to communicate with each other, being influential member, influential member of the productive team. Again, team work. Then, the student will integrate the new knowledge and skills they acquired in a context of solution for this problem. They will criticize the solution and try to improve it more. And if, uh, at the end of the cycle, if they have an uh, still gap they need to fill, they will start again. They will collect more problem, brainstorm, and assign tasks, and teach is each other. It's a cycle. It's not ending by giving the optimal solution. Now it will continue and rolling and rolling till they acquire the optimal a solution for this problem during this journey the, the target is not to solve the problem it's again to acquire the skill to solve other problems and we will always compare it to the traditional method we have learned to it's being a guide on the side either them being a sage on a stage you will be a facilitator coach rather than a, 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 a knowledge holder disseminator you will be active learner rather than just a passive learners what is the rule of the tutor the rule of the tutor and bbl we can we put it here in a seven elements you must help to put the climate make the student familiar to each other Help them to direct this learning process, to perform self-directed learning. Then, plan the session. Explain to them how the session will run. Assign different rules, as no one gets lost in the middle without sharing in the, uh, in the problem-based uh, scenario. Also become a facilitator, support the student, and help the student to compare the existing knowledge and the required outcome. Develop the student critical thinking. Again, the student is the main target. Set the goal. Help them to set the goal according to the internal learning outcome. And design, design the learning plan. Interact with them according to uh, what helps them to be more active learner. Not to give them the solution. Engage with the learning objectives. And, uh, and interactive participant of the student. Evaluate the learning outcome in the last by a constructive feedback. Remember, being a facilitator in BBL session do don't minimize your rule. It just modify it. We all love to, to explain. We all love to be the sage on stage. But BBL, we are just guide on the side. So you, can, you must be properly trained. You must know the group management, the tutoring skill in BBL session. So to avoid two risks. Either being a wallflower, you are not sharing by any means. You are just leaving كده رميهم يعوموا براحتهم. بس كده مش مش هي ممكن يتوهوا وكتير هيبقوا gonna be lost a lot of them will be lost in the middle and the other risk is to take control not to give them the space to act and acquire the skill you are trying to be more learner as the traditional method no try to this uh, search for this the solution is this try to find the way in the middle to be a, a help guide on a side this is another visualization of the cycle, defining the problem and identifying what needs, brainstorming session, making an test, uh, and test hypothesis, then evaluate the result and share the results. Then evaluate it again to define a problem and then via, uh, continues on moving on and on. So comes for this week's assignments. This week's assignment will be to share your reflection with us. In referral to the PPL cycle, how to be an effective tutor.
And thank you and see you on the next week, inshallah.